Right, I've got a little clip here about esters, carboxylic acids, acid anhydrides, and how you form esters and carboxylic acids and acid anhydrides. So this first bit is just a bit of revision. How do you get an ester from a carboxylic acid? What do you need to add to that carboxylic acid? Water. Good. An alcohol. Oh, by the way, you can count how many times I repeat specific words because it seems to do it quite often. So, anyway, getting back to it, we've got our carboxylic acid. Here it is. As you'll notice, I've drawn the OH in a different colour, just to remind me. Name that carboxylic acid for me. Fantastic. Right, I'm going to add to that methanol. Again, note that as I'm adding it, I'm using a different colour for the edge. So we can keep track of where things are going. So here, this reaction, I'm probably not going to have enough room there in from here. So we're adding methanol to ethanoic acid. What's the catalyst for this reaction? What conditions do it need? Yeah, so we've got sulfuric acid as the catalyst, and we're producing our uh, ester. Notice here, your carboxylic acid deliberately drawn the OH in purple. Carboxylic acid loses the OH. The alcohol loses the H. So we've got our ester. I'm not drawing it. Not draw me recording area wide enough. And we also get water. Now it's my H2O, I've drawn HOH. Again, just to show where that H and OH is coming from. You wouldn't believe the amount of people that forget their water in an exam. I don't know why. Most people even take a bottle of water into the exam to have a swig, but then they forget in their condensation reaction to put their water on. So make sure that once you've done the hard bit, making your ester, taking the OH off the ethanoic acid and the H off the alcohol, that you put your water in. Now, naming the ester again, you take the ethanoic acid part, the ethano, and you take the meth part of methanol here, or the first part of your alcohol, and you make the alcohol, the ethyl, so it's methyl ethanoate. So you take it, the alcohol first, it becomes an ethyl, and then the ethanoic acid turns to O8. One way to try and remember that the alcohol always loses its H. Let's just move this out of the way a minute. I don't know what on here. Right. This is not my opinion of alcoholic beverages. It just happens to be a useful way to remember that the H always comes off the alcohol. So, a little story. Alcohol wants to be cool. So he loses his age and becomes alcohol. Moving on. Acid anhydrides. Right. An acid anhydride is made from a carboxylic acid, but hydride and hydride lost water. So you get something like there's one carboxylic acid there's another carboxylic acid notice put the H and the OH 
in red. So we've got two sets of ethanolic acid here. Which is going to give us, by dehydration, an acid anhydride. Lose my water. That's my complete acid anhydride. I've lost my water. Remember, you put it in. Now, acid anhydrides are formed from the dehydration of a specific carboxylic acid. So the naming's quite nice. Here we've got ethanoic anhydride. Notice, all I've done is replace acid with anhydride. So, whatever your carboxylic acid is, you dehydrate it and you get an anhydride. So, propanoic anhydride from propanoic acid, butanoic anhydride from butanoic acid, and so on and so on. So, that's your acid anhydride. You're just joining two carboxylic acids together and taking off an H from one and an H from each other. Yeah. Tricky bit then for A2 because so far we looked at esters and alcohols. We've got to get esters from acid and hydride. So, start off with our anhydride. What must we add it to to form an ester? Alcohol again. Notice again, put that H in red, it's going to lose that H, that alcohol. So we've got ethanol again, hydride, reacting with methanol, which goes to. What do you think we're going to get? Oh. Right, well, let's give a bit of a clue. Here we've got then part of the acid anhydride. It's going to form an ester with the alcohol, or the alcohol minus the H, and then find a spot for it. I've got my carboxylic acid. Formed with the help of the H from the alcohol. So I split my acid anhydride in two. The half that got the oxygen, so the green here, forms a carboxylic acid with the H from the alcohol. And the blue section, which didn't get the O forms the ester with the O from the alcohol and so that I get methyl ethanoic and ethanoic acid. Now this reaction doesn't have a catalyst so in fact it's quite different from esterification where you've got your carboxylic acid and your alcohol and your acid catalyst because that reaction is an equilibrium reaction. This reaction needs no catalyst and it is not an equilibrium reaction. So you will get a better yield of uh, your ester from this reaction. Okay, so that was basically a colour coded how to put together esters, acid anhydrides, and then how to get esters from acid anhydrides.